Hey, everybody. Uh, another step that you may want to take in protecting information, keeping things a little safer, uh, especially, you know, if you're putting stuff on the network or uh, sharing things across the Internet. Um, we need to encrypt and password protect various files or multiple files. Um, look at a folder here. I've got got several things in this in this folder, I've got a PDF, which I did not create, so I can't pass or protect it. It's just a read only PDF. Um, I have a word document here, which I could pass or protect, but that wouldn't do anything for the other two. And this is a JPEG, which is a picture, which you can't pass or protect because it's a picture. So what am I supposed to do? Well, in my documents, I have them in a separate little folder, all of their own. And we all have, or can install, a little program called 7-Zip. Look up here, and it's right here. It's a little program called 7-Zip. If you don't have it, let me know. We'll get you set up. Um, but all I have to do is take my folder of secret stuff here and right-click on it. Now, right-click, generally, you only do when you want to bring up a context-sensitive menu. Uh, many a time, I'll tell somebody to right-click on something, and then I'll tell them to click on something, and it's OD, right-click, left click the only thing you right click on is to bring up context sensitive menus when you want to do something special, something different. Uh, and this is what we want to do. We want to use our little program, 7-Zip here, and we want to add it to an archive. It'll do other things, but we're not really concerned about that. We just want to add it to an archive. So we click on that, and it brings up this menu here. Um, pretty much all of the settings can stay default. You don't have to worry about, you know, all these the different things, the dictionary size, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's, it's not that essential. Um, as long as you're as you're protecting it with a zip, that's that's as far as it needs to go. One thing you may want to do, as we've said before, is you might want to rename it, uh, drop it down out of you know get the, the secret out of there. We don't need it, and everybody doesn't need to know secret stuff because that's going to really make them curious. So we'll just call it stuff, and it's going to go ahead and put the dot zip extension on there. That's very important. Um, so here's where you will put in your password. And you get to put it in a second time, as always. Okay. Now, this does actually give you the opportunity to look at your password. I want to click on it here and show you that I didn't put a very secure password at all in there. I put that. But this is for demonstration purposes. You definitely want to use something better than that. But nonetheless, but if you click here, it will show you your password. Okay. And everything else, like I said, can stay the same. So we'll click OK. And... That's all there was to it. So it created this little zip folder, and they call them a zip folder, and you can even tell the little icon there. If you look at that, it looks like a little folder, but it's got a zipper on it, so that tells you it's something special. Um, the reason we use zip is Windows can handle that. Windows can deal with a, with a zip file. Uh, it, it's built into it, so it doesn't, you know, if you send this to somebody, they don't need to have 7-Zip to open it. They don't need to have anything. Windows itself can open it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and send that to our people. Um, something else, if you were making it for a, a local, you'll notice my file is still here. My folder is still here. It didn't go anywhere. So if this was for, for archival purposes and I was saving this, I put my stuff in there. Once you verify that your stuff's in that zip folder, you go ahead and delete this and empty your recycle bin because if not, you have an unprotected copy of it. And that's not what you want. So... But meanwhile, we'll go over here and say, now that I'm the other person at the other end, I've sent them this folder, or this zip folder, and they've uh, scanned it with their little, their, yeah, okay. And uh, so now they go to open it. Okay, well, there's my folder. What's special about that? Well, you double click on it. Where's my pictures? There's nothing special. So let's go look at my picture. Well, I can't even look at my picture without a password. That's what we're looking for. So I type in my password remember it and there's my picture um, now depending upon the version of, of Windows that you're using um, Windows 10 I know once you open a archive I don't need to enter the password again to open any of the other files uh, Windows 7 however does require you to enter a password each time um, I'm not sure why Microsoft decided to go that route, but nonetheless, 
once you once you close out and reboot the machine, you still need your password to get back into this file. Um, but that is all that is required to password protect multiple different types of files together. If you have any questions, you just let me know. Okay.